Hello, Miss. Hello, Aday. Hi, guys. So a few minutes before the session, the last session ended, I lost connection and uh, the meeting started converting. So uh, I had to Sorry, let meet so that I could upload to you guys. Hi, Miss. Sorry for joining me. Oh, you're not late, dear. I'm not late? No, it's okay. All right. Um, so I'm, we're just going to wait uh, two minutes and then I'm going to check your names for attendance. All right, there's only 17 here. That means a lot of you are not here. Yes, we are 24 in the last uh, session. Yes. Okay, so we lost connection here before we did the um, Language Arts Practice Workbook page. So we're going to move on to the Practice Workbook. I will be taking attendance while you guys answer. Hi, dear. Miss, will we use the language art practice or textbook? We will be using the work the workbook. Can you guys see my screen? Now we will just use the double workbook. checking. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna use the workbook now. I'm just double checking the page number. Yes, okay, it's page four. Yes, page sixty-four. Okay, one minute, guys. I'm going to be taking attendance and then we will begin. Miss your legging. No, dear, I have it. I have it on mute. I'm taking attendance while you guys get your book. Okay, grade five, let's begin. All right, volunteers to answer. Okay, Yusuf, number one. Yes. All right, what are we going to do first? I was late, so... This exercise, one second here. So we're going to choose a synonym. Choose from... a synonym from the word books for each underlined uh, word in the sentence below, write the synonym on the line. Very good. Okay, go ahead, read number one. I was late, so I directed the, the rest quickly. Okay. Small, uh, uh, slowly. All right, so this is here is asking for synonyms, not antonyms. What is a synonym? First, Miss page what? A synonym is same meaning. Yeah, same meaning. All right, so here we can oh, use. First. Very good, fast. Yeah, first. Okay, thank you. Number two, Shlok. Are you there, Shlok? Okay, Mamdur. Can, uh, can I answer number two? Can I answer number two? Number two. Oh, then you can answer number three. Can I answer number three? Okay. Um, are they number two? Okay. The bus stopped at the corner. Um, Miss, I was answering. No, dear, you Lord. said number three. You asked me to answer number three, right? 
No, he asked. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought that was um, Mamdouh. Okay. Go ahead, Aday. Mamdouh, you can answer number three, and um, I'm good. Number four. Okay. okay. The boss stopped at Miss the corner. Um, slowly. Okay. So, what has the same meaning as um, stopped? Right. Maybe this is a word that you don't know. Um, but it is not slowly. Slowly um, is slowly is a different meaning. You know. What is it here? Okay, so we have here halted. Here we have halted. Miss your you halted. Like, it's hard to tell if yeah. there's any voice. It's like no, this. Yeah, yeah, she's slowly, sir. Oh, she's lagging. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so halted has the same meaning as stopped. Right? Look here. Halted. All right, synonyms. Here we have stopped or paused. Okay, these are all synonyms for stopped. Halted. Halted means stopped. So the bus halted at the corner. Okay, guys, it's normal for you guys not to uh, know the uh, meaning of this word or that this is a synonym, but keep in mind, halted and stopped mean the same thing. Okay, number three, um, Mamdouh, right? Um, it was Zini. It was Khun. Your voice is very far, Mamdouh. Can you move closer to the mic? It was Zini. Uh, I, I, I put Stormy. I can't hear you, dear. Stormy, Miss he says. I said Stormy. Miss is not even. It is. Miss. You're right. So it was raining. It was rainy. Sorry. It was rainy. Stormy is the correct um, synonym. Thank you very much. Okay, number four, I'm good. But there is what? What did you say, Habiba? There is uh, wet also. Okay, Miss, but rainy uh, is not the same meaning as wet. Miss, okay. it's not wet also because we will use wet. We will use and wet yes, we will need to use wet later. I know. Right? But I know also, it, rainy is not the same as wet. Something that is wet, this is not. So you can say the towel is wet. All right, this cannot be a synonym for the word rainy. You can't say the towel is rainy, right? So rainy means something that's coming from the sky. Um, so stormy here would be the better synonym. Okay, go ahead, number four, I'm good. I was happy to be riding the bus. I was happy, very good. So happy here is a synonym for glad. Thank you. And number five, Habiba. Mm -hmm. Yes, miss. My friend had to ride his bike. Friend. My Pal. friend, pal. Excellent. Pal is a synonym miss, for friend. Not yes. me, miss. That is making my nose. It is what? There is a back. There is a back noise. Yes, yeah, somebody has a bird. I think maybe yes. Habiba. I'm not sure. Habiba and me. Habiba and me. Both of you have birds. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So in the second yeah. part, in part B, we're going to choose an antonym from the box. Okay. So here we have dry. The street was dry. Who knows the antonym for dry? Um. Wet. Wet. Thank you. The street Number, was very good. Number seven, Yasini Duini. Yes. Miss wants to come. Um the sky was light, light will be dark. 
Excellent. Start. Yes. The antonym for life. Thank you, Aisal. Number eight. The air was warm and the air was cold. Very good. Thank you. Number nine, Hamid. <clears throat> Yes, miss. miss. Number nine here. Because, I don't have the book because I'm not at home right now. Okay, so here the sentence is, I walked quickly into the building. So what would an answer yes, so quickly be? Uh, what is an antonym for quickly? Okay, Hyman, what is an antonym? An antonym is when we have, it is the opposite meaning or it is the same meaning. What are we looking for? The opposite meaning. The opposite. Okay, so what is the opposite of quickly? Quickly, slowly. Slowly. Slowly here is in the box. Yes, the answer is slowly. Thank you. Okay, Reem, number 10. Reem, are you there? Yes. Hi, Reem. Can you answer number uh, 10? It was going to be a good day. A good day. Very good. So the opposite of bad is good. The antonym is good. Thank you. All right. So did everybody write this? Very easy lesson, right? Yes. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to start reading Westlandia in your literature anthology textbook. All right, this is on page 198 in your literature anthology. So please get your book if uh, my copy is not clear enough. Wait, I will get my page 198. Okay, because I have a lot of books. book. Okay, so we are reading a fantasy this week. Okay, Westlandia is a fantasy. Remember that fantasies or fictional stories, fantasies, um, fictional stories are made up. There are different types of uh, fiction. We're reading today about um, fantasy and fantasy includes events that could not happen in real life. And they also may include magical characters. So we're going to read this story today and point out the features of fantasy. Okay, um, so look at the title here. The title is Westlandia. What do you think when you hear the title Westlandia? What do you think we're going to read about? A land in those. All right, so you picked up on the word land, okay, west. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with West because we don't have the letter T, right? So here it, it seems it is land of West, okay? But what is West or who is West? We're still going to read and find out, but very good. Um, very good, um, Abdurrahman, for noticing the word land. So this is probably the name of a land. Okay, so the picture here shows Westlandia. This is Westlandia in the photo. And the main character is the boy, um, that is in the foreground here, this boy who is wearing uh, this beige, okay? And our essential question this week is, how can learning about nature be useful? This is also, this was also our uh, essential question in the small story that we read, right? Habiba, what was the small story that we read about? Survival Land? Habiba, are you there? Yes, miss. Okay, so tell me how was survival land? How did it answer the same essential question? So survival land was about um, the importance of understanding nature, right? That was how they were able to win the video game, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have a similar theme today in Westlandia. Okay, can I get a volunteer to read me. Well, you have your hands raised from the um, practice workbook, so I'm going to lower your hands now. If you would like to read, raise your hand again. 
Okay, now raise your hand if you would like to read. Okay, uh, Amgad, go ahead, first paragraph, Aisil, second paragraph. Or um, since the paragraphs are short, I will tell you when to stop. Go ahead, Amgad. <clears throat> of course, he's miserable. Moon Weasley's mother. He sticks out like a nose snapped his father. Listening through the heating vent, Weasley knew that they were right. He was an outcast from the civilization around, around him. He alone in Okay, the thank you. Thank you. Let's stop here, Amgen. All right, so they hear uh, Wesley's mother. So here we know that our main character is named Wesley. All right, Wesley, does this explain something for us now? Why is it called Westlandia? So Wes is probably his nickname. Nickname. We're, we're still going to uh, read and find out, but all we know that is that um, Westlandia, probably Wes and Westlandia comes from his name, Wesley. Okay, so this boy is probably named Wesley. Um, of course, he's miserable, moaned Wesley's mother. He sticks out like a nose. Okay, so like a nose sticks out of somebody's face. What are they trying to say here? That he does not fit in. All right, it says he was an outcast from the civilization around him. So he's very different um, from the people around him, probably from his classmates, from his friends, um, from society in and general. To be an outcast, and means, yes. I'm sorry? I can't hear you. Yes, Reem, please raise your hand on the screen. Okay, raise your hand on the screen and you will be in the, with the list of people who are going to read. Okay, so he is very different from his friends and he sticks out. So it's noticeable that he is not like them. All right, thank you. Uh, Amgad Aisel, can you read? He alone in his town life, he didn't want to the alarming his mother and the school nurse. He found Professional football stupid. He, he refused to shave half his head. The hairstyle worn by all the other boys. Despite his father's blood of, right. of five dollars. All right, thank That's you, Aisa. Let's stop here, dear. Okay, so he and his town, he alone in his town, so he didn't like pizza and soda. Is this normal for a boy his age to hate pizza and soda? No. Everybody loves pizza and soda. No. Does anybody here not like pizza? No. I like pizza, but I don't like soda. No. Okay, so maybe maybe we uh, we like soda, but we don't drink it because we know it's unhealthy. But I it's not like common pizza. for you to not like it, right? I love like, pizza. So Amr, if you really don't like the taste of soda, then you you maybe are yes. a little bit different, right? Because no, most I of us like, like soda. Do you like, I like it? it but it's, I like Jeff it, but it's not healthy. Okay, but he dislikes it. So this shows how he is different from society. All of us like it. Sometimes we don't drink it because we know it is unhealthy. It's not good for us. But we like soda. This is a normal thing for um, for anyone to like, pizza and soda. Okay, so this shows that he is different. It says he alone in his town. So everybody likes it. He found yeah, traditional also... football stupid. He doesn't like football. Okay, he refused to shave half his head, the hairstyle worn by all the other boys. So... Uh, his father wanted to give him five dollars so that he would shave his head, uh, the half of his head, so probably the bottom half, to look like his friend. So because of course his parents don't want him, don't want to see him always different and the one who is left out of everything because he's so different than the other boys in his class. Okay, thank you, uh, Aisel, uh, Reem. Okay, I want to say for for you something and then I will read. Okay, tell me. Yes. Yes. I, I, I hate Coca-Cola and, and Pepsi, but I love the Schweppes and Fairuz. Okay, so you, so you like soda. Okay, go he, ahead. I think his life holds two styles of housing, garage on the left and garage on the right. Wesley alone, alone dreams of more exciting forms of shelter. He had no friends, but plenty of tormentors, freeing them. The oldest boy, he was 
goes at. Okay, thank you, Reem. So um, here he said that he wanted an ex more exciting form of shelter because all of the houses in his town look alike. Um, he had no friends, but he had many of tormentors. What are tormentors? People that bother him. Okay, people that bother him, they probably make fun of him because he is different. They uh, tease him, they, um, they are rude to him, right? And they um, treat him differently. He says fleeing him, what does it mean to flee? To, so running away from them or avoiding them was the only sport he was good at. So he, he said that, uh, it says here that he doesn't like to play football. All he can do is um, flee the boys. Okay. Uh, Miss, what next, is fleeing? To, what flee is fleeing? Some, to flee something or someone means to run away from it. To so escape only it. Good at turn away. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Amr? Okay. Each afternoon, his mother, his mother asked to him what he'd learned in school that day. That seeds are carried great distance by, by the wind. He answered on Wednesday. That each civilization, civilization? has its staple food crop. He answered on Thursday. Get school over, I should find a good summer project. He answered on Friday. As always, his father mumbled, I'm sure you will use that knowledge often. Okay, thank you, let's stop here. All right, so um, clearly he uh, focuses in school, he pays attention, and what does he learn? He learns uh, different things about um, ancient civilizations, Okay, and uh, his father says that he's going to use this information often. Okay. Okay, so um, he makes uh, an important civilization that, uh, sorry, an important uh, decision that we're going to read about uh, next. Let's see, Habiba, can you continue reading? Each afternoon his mother asked him, we have a reading quiz. Okay, who's, I'm sorry, who said in the middle of Habiba reading, do we have a reading quiz? Number one, you have a weekly plan that was posted. You can check it for uh, any information that you missed during one of our sessions. I have said several times, guys, we do not have a reading test on Sunday. Okay, please do not interrupt when somebody is reading. Okay, at the end of every session, I ask you guys if you have questions. Please don't interrupt. Go ahead, uh, Habiba, sorry. Suddenly, wildly cats shot for... Habiba, can you move closer to the mic? I can't hear you. Okay. Suddenly, Wesley... Wesley? Wesley? Cats shot... Wesley, cats shot... Sparks his eyes. Blade. His father was right. He could actually use that he glimmed the seed for a summer project that would top all the all others. He would grow his own food crop and found his own civilization. All right. So he is. Um, so what is he deciding to do now? He's deciding that for his summer project, we learned on the last page uh, that he has. Oh, sorry. We learned on the uh, uh, in the paragraph above that he has. Um, a summer project to complete now that school is over and he decides to create his own civilization. This is a very ambitious and huge project that he is uh, going to do. Why do you think that Wesley wants to create his own civilization? So what do know of Wesley? Abdurrahman, because he's different than others. Okay, he's different than others. He feels like, so he feels uh, very different. He feels like an outcast in the civilization that he lives in now. So he wants to um, create his own civilization. How did he come up with this idea? Yes. yes? Um, he will grow his own food crop and found his own civilization. Yes, he's going to learn to grow his own crop, his own food crop. So he learned in, um, he learned probably in social studies that um, each civilization has its staple food crop. Um, maybe it is potatoes, maybe it is um, rice, okay? But he wants to grow his own food crop and he wants to found his own civilization. What does found 
Amir. This means uh, to start his own civilization. So Mr. what his father? Uh, yes, on. He did it alone also because uh, when he is different from someone, uh, he will think about something and all of them, all of them will think about something else. Say so it again here, I didn't understand. So miss, their mind is different. Of course, he's very different from his uh, friends, from his classmates. He's different from everyone in society. He's a very unique boy. Okay, so Wesley's father gave him this idea when he commented about how often his son would use his knowledge about seeds and civilization. So he said he was telling his father, um, his mother and father, he was telling them what he learned in school. This is probably in social class, in social studies class. Um, and his father says, I'm sure you use that knowledge often. So he decided to use this knowledge to, um, to start his own uh, civilization and um, make his own food crop uh, for his summer project. All right, um, next page. So one second, guys, because it seems here I do not have the next page. One second, guys. You guys can't see my screen now, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. <clears throat> I can't. Miss the next page is a picture. The next page is a picture, yeah, 204. Just one second, guys, and I will share it again with you. I can see his crops. You can see his crops. Okay, I found this to be a very interesting story, so I'm excited to finish reading it. One second, guys, and I will share screen. my screen. One second, dear. I know, one second. I don't see the screen. I know, one second. Okay, so we're on page 204. Five. 204, 204, 204, yeah, 204 and 205. Yeah. Are you sharing my screen again? Yes, share your screen again because you can see it. But it's not shared, guys. Now we can now see. Now we can it. see. Okay. Now we can see. okay. So let's see who would like to read the next page. Uh, Tanahi, did you read? No. no. Go ahead. The next morning, he returned over a plot of ground in his yard. That night, a wind blew in from, in from the west. I raced through the trees and sat in his cur curtain snapping. Wesley lay awake, listening his land was being planted. Five days later, the seeding appeared. You will have mighty big lamb on your hand if you don't get those weeds out, warned his neighbor. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, read the next sentence. Read the next line. Actually, that's my crop, replied Wesley. In this type of garden, there are no weeds. Okay, thank you. So, um... So the author here uses uh, words like uh, a wind blew in, raced through the trees, uh, set his curtains snapping. All of these are um, describing the weather, um, which creates a mood of uh, change, all right? So it is. it seems as though something mysterious is blowing into town. It says that first he uh, overturned uh, he sorry he turned he turned over a plot of ground in his yard and then the seeds blew um, were blown into the um, into the land so it says here on the page before it says he learned that seeds are are carried great distances by the wind so this is what happened the next morning he turned over a plot of ground and um, the seeds were blown uh, by the wind. Okay, and it says here his land was being planted. Okay, so the next morning, um, uh, sorry, five days later, um, it says that the first seedlings appeared. 
So finally, his crop has been uh, planted and his first seedlings appeared. Someone told him we should get these weeds out. What are weeds? What are weeds? Weeds are um, things that grow in our garden that um, we don't need. So he thinks that this is, he doesn't understand that this is his crop. He tells him, actually, that's my crop. In this type of garden, there are no weeds. Um, so he thinks so these are weeds. Need them. Miss weeds means the plants. What did you say? Right. Weeds so miss means the plants. Yeah. Miss, so he needs the weeds or no? So weeds, no, he thinks that these are, one second guys, sorry. He thinks that these are um, unnecessary plants that are growing, um, but, and he tells Wesley he should get rid of them. Um, the uh, text here, we're going to read again and find out who this name is. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, Amgad, uh, Amgad, you read, uh, Ade, did you read? No. Okay, continue reading. Okay, uh, Yasina Duini, are you there? Yes, I am continue there. Reading. Okay. Uh, one second. Uh, five days later, the first seedlings appeared. You will have mighty bed lamb on your Mr. hands Mr. if you don't. Okay, Yasin. So we're we're here. We finished this part. We're on following ancient tradition. Uh, uh following ancient tradition, Wesley, Wesley's fellow gardeners grow tomatoes, beans, brussels, Russell sprouts, brussels uh, sprouts, and nothing else. Wesley found it. Thrilling to open his land to chance to invite what? the new and the unknown. The plants should up less past his knees. Then he was waste. They see then his waist. The so how 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 tall are the plants? They went up past his knees and then past his waist. So they grew to be very uh, tall. And Wesley, it says here, is his waist. His waist. Um, your waist is, you know where your waist is? The top of your pants. Yes, okay. All right, this is your waist. Okay. Um, continue. They uh, seem to be all of the same show, sort. Can you continue? Wesley couldn't. Wesley couldn't find them in any in any plant book. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. Mamdouh, can you continue? What is noise? Okay. Uh, Shlok? <laughs> All right. I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. Um, yes, Miss. I can hear you. Okay. Th those of you who I'm calling on, I don't know why you're not answering. But, um, okay, let's see, Yasina said it. Are those tomatoes, beans, or Brussels sprouts? Right, uh, Yasin, can you raise your voice, please? Okay. 
Wait, did it just fade? One sec. Maybe you can move closer to the Are those tomatoes, mic? beans, or, or Brussels sprouts? Asked Wesley's neighbor. None of the above, replied Wesley. For the pure yellow first, and then blushing into magenta, Wesley picked up one and sliced through the rind of the juicy purple center. Took a bite and found out the taste of an en- entrancing blend of peach, strawberry, pumpkin pie, and flavors he had no name for. Okay, so finally, his, um, his finally, this is his fruit. Fruit appeared, um, and this is what it looks like in the photo. Okay, he found the taste to be um, a mix of peach and strawberry and pumpkin pie. So he did not know how to describe the taste. He did not know how to describe the flavors. All right, but clearly this is, um, it is delicious, right? If it tastes like all of these uh, good things. But it didn't have any name. But of course it is not in any plant book. Nobody knows what this uh, crop is. So is this possible? Is it possible for him to, um, for five days after he, um, turns over the ground for the for the seeds to blow, be blown by the wind and for him to have this uh, crop is this something that is possible or is this why this is how we know that this is a fantasy this is how we know this is fantasy. this is something that could not happen how in five days how in five days only exactly in five days only and then he uh, finds this fruit and the fruit tastes like pumpkin pie is there a fruit that tastes like pumpkin pie no, because pumpkin pie is it should be done with pumpkins and other flavors. That's right. Um, so he uh, does not know how to describe this fruit that has appeared, and, but and um, they didn't have any name. How? I'm sorry. And they didn't have any name. That's right. Um, yeah, it wasn't in, in any of a what plan book. That's right. Okay, let's um, move on to the next page. Let's can I read? Are they you read already, right? No. Okay, go no, ahead. Are they did? Go ahead, guys. The meeting will end in two minutes, so are they you can just read this paragraph and then we will stop and continue here tomorrow. Go ahead, are they? Okay. Ignoring the shelf of cereals in the kitchen, Wesley took to breakfasting on the fruit. He dried half a rind to cereal. As a cup, built his own pleasing device and drank the fruit's juice throughout the day. Continue. Pulling up a plant, he found large tubers on the roots. These he boiled, fried, or roasted on the family barbus barbecue season. barbecue seasons. Then, with a bunch of the plants, highly aromatic leaves. Okay, so um, he started eating this fruit for breakfast. Um, this shows again, so everybody his age, of course, has cereal for breakfast, but he uh, wants to eat his fruit. Uh, he, dried, uh, he dried half of the fruit to use as a cup, and uh, he uh, squeezed the juice with his own device, and he drank it throughout the day. Guys, the meeting will end. Uh, we will start tomorrow here from It is Hot Work Tending to His Crop, okay? Please check Smart Schools for your homework today, your grammar sheet, and if you have questions, please um, send me. Um, send me them after the session. And again, guys, no reading. Miss, I finished the Sunday. grammar sheet and I sent it. Miss, I finished the grammar sheet and I sent it. Okay, Duini, don't don't finish it in a, ahead of time. Okay, wait till I post it. But I have the teacher book and I print it and I know. Uh, and I, I know, finish it. I know, but I check it as Wednesday's homework. So be sure to send it on Wednesday. Did you send it today or yesterday? Miss, I send it today. Okay, no problem. All right, guys, the meeting will shut off now.